Hello everybody and welcome back to the old family farm. We've got the team gathered down here in the field with the wonderful trees that are growing. Little bubba trees. Hitman, who did this? It was I. It, it was you. Well There's done. 40 trees here. You can't really see them very well because they're only these little saplings, but um, mm. each pallet is 20. And, I, and I, I noticed it's an excellent starting point as well, because we've got the water right here, so anyone that didn't go to the toilet before we started... Ha ha! Don't look! <laughs> <laughs> don't look! Don't look! It's not don't look, oh, don't listen! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. Right. So we've got some Let's harvesting swim. to do today, haven't we, by the sounds mm. of it? Oh! Trillion's jumping mm -hmm. on. Are you kind of cliff jumping there? Almost <laughs> cliff jumping. It's, it's yeah. a very small cliff, it's, it's like the mini version. <laughs> yeah. We're trembling. All right. So Everyone just disappeared. We'll... Yeah, we're all we're all running off to work. So... Work. I I, I I said my job today was to I was gonna sleep in a tra in a tractor somewhere. It's sl okay. sleeping sleeping episode. Night fad. <laughs> sleep sim. <laughs> Used to need for speed here. Hit the emergency brake to do a, a 180. All right, off you go, Rick. Rick yeah. Or are you figuring it out? <laughs> I think you just turn uh, it yeah. on and go. Wait in the shade. Mm -hmm. So we have an executive schluter and bought the uh, just a vanilla front weight. I do need to find better front weights, I think. Oh, hold on, Trillian. What's the speed? Uh, I think we're down to really... Okay. Oh. Okay, ready when you are. You having fun over there already, Fad? Oh, yeah. There we go. Of course, just, just to be a jerk, if I'm not exactly where you've placed the trailer, I'm just going to wait there and, and beep the horn until you get there. <laughs> mm, that sounds pretty jerky. You're expecting something different? Mm. Don't I'm chasing go round and school. round or what? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Go round outside of the field if you want. I'm not. I'm not lost. Oops, <laughs> Hold on, Trillian. Just yeah, unload okay. there. Yeah. 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 Hold on. Because uh, the pole's in the way there. Uh, unload. Hang on. No. I think your estimate oh. is going to be proven wrong, Mr. Rick. Not oh, quite going to make it, eh? Yeah, Oops. we're going to make it. We're going to go beyond it. Okay, cool. Okay, so one of you floaters is going to have to fix the sign now. <laughs> yeah. <Oops>. <laughs> Can we fix it permanently? Oh wait, did I explain what floater was on screen? No, not yet. <laughs> well, so, <laughs> it's not toilet humor, it's, it's uh, well, okay, maybe a little. But no, it's um, a term for someone who's kind of running around doing different jobs. Odd okay, job. Okay, so, Trillian you might want to move out of his way there. I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, out of the way. She was trying to get a little bit there. Mike, Mike had a co uh, barley shower. Didn't work out. Okay, hold on, Trillian. Wait, 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 yep, yep, wait, yep, I'm going okay. back, I'm going back. <laughs> I guess this first pass, we should have just gone the other way. Oh well. Lesson learned, but probably not way? retained. Uh, like, started from the other end of the field. Oh well. But we did start on this side of the field because of, um, you know, just running back and forth to the farm here is best to drive over where we've already harvested. You could tell if this was turned on or not. Oh. Bit derpy. Seems a lot of our goes, plastic goes, stuff's a bit derpy. Goes the same speed whether it's on or off. So. Hide me. Oops, oh, I know what was Come back. Come back. Yeah. Do, 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 what the heck do, do, do. happened this time? Probably got filled. No, I wasn't the... I'll try and corner it this time. <laughs> Lost. Just just say this thing is derpy. You can blame the it until somebody here is gonna... 
the time we get to the end of the field. We'll just... Most of us have used that machine and agree that it is derpy. We'll blame the machine well, on this particular no, case. Well, off screen, we did do a whole field with it. And mm -hmm. it went fine. <laughs> Somehow this time it's chaos. So it's Why only derpy when you're recording. <laughs> okay, I must have just missed those. I smell a picnic issue. Hmm. <laughs> Pepcac. <laughs> Call it Pepcac. Problem exists between picnic? keyboard and chair. Yeah. Pepcac. Well, it's also a picnic what? problem in chair, not in computer. <laughs> <laughs> just, not Never heard chair. that one before. <laughs> also, it's also known as you as you've said as the uh, keyboard to chair interface. <laughs> There. Turned the speed down a bit more. I think that was okay. half the problem the last time I wasn't using the cruise control, I was pressing W, so it was moving too fast. Maybe speed it up a little. There. How's that? Mm -hmm. You're the one harvesting. I'm fine. One speed. I'm just watching the percentage. I wish uh, the topper was creeping up a little bit. Yeah, I can have a look. It works, it's popping. I don't get it. Yeah, I know. It's just it's a bit derpy as all. Oh well. Texture's a bit plain. Or I like to okay. derp it, derp it. <laughs> Alright, so after we finished recording yesterday, purchased this executive shooter, as you recall from. Oh my gosh, when was that? Was that Belgique? Must have been. Um, quite possibly. That's our last classic. And, um, we've got the tom potato, or not potato, the tree seeder. We seeded those trees. That's why we don't have any money left. <laughs> that is why we don't have, well, we were down to 1700, so we're doing pretty well. I was going to say, we were up to almost 70,000 when we finished last episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know. There's money there. It takes money to make money, so yep. everything we we purchase, other than all these tractors, but that's just for for our episodes and stuff. I mean, we want to keep going through tractors, so we get a bunch of them shown off. Oh my gosh, got a bit of a whoa! Geez, you almost got me. Try harder! Why try can't harder! Even see you. He was in the way. Yeah. Oh, I missed one again. Hmm. Or oh, okay. Get I it on the one. return trip. No, oh, I think I'll go back to it. Mm, okay. Hang on, I'll, I'll decide. Let me think about it. Trudy says that's money in the ground. Yep, it's a beat. And well, I'm missing a whole row, row now. now. That's okay. Yeah, well, I'm going back to those. Why am I going forward? Because you're not uh, going backwards. So you're full. Right, full. I'm not full. You can see it in one. Trillian's always going forward because she can't find reverse. <laughs> <laughs> there's Klingons on the back. starboard bow. <laughs> no, there's Hitman on the too? starboard bow. <laughs> no. You're not? Oh wow, I'm shocked. Okay, well I best get over there I'm and catch up to you then. I'm still thinking about that one. I'll decide when I get down another pass. <laughs> oh, what? Mm, I think that tipper might be full. Starting around. I, th I think we need to... I, I'm definitely feeling a rewrite of um, star tracking for farm simming. Yeah. <laughs> I have to write that down, otherwise I'll forget it, but I think that has to be done. It better be here for next episode. Oh, I can't guarantee you're that. you're here for next episode. <laughs> um, where's my bit of paper? There's playing on the star my gosh. Come on, kill me. Oh, they're missing you again. <laughs> it's you'd be too greedy. It's a three-row harvester. 
I'm trying to do four. Yeah. Just use. Uh, actually, I, I I think your best bet is try and line up the wheels, the front wheels, with the rows, and then sure it won't be 100% percent the full width of it, but at least you won't miss any. Yeah. It'll go right over nice. to the side with the wheel rather than on top of it. Probably still get three. I'm gonna run in. Whoops. Yep. Run over that fence Straight or that light post. Stand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw it. I'm gonna oh. take a quick look. So that's where those guys are harvesting over there behind us. So I'll go down the other end and get that beat now. Okay, and come back up this way. So <laughs> yeah. So you don't need to drive on the beats. One time. Oh my gosh, that song's in my head now. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> the glee. Yeah, well like I said, you'll you'll like it even more when I rewrite the lyrics. And I will do. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to do is play around with words. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we need to move this corn header because it's been in my way every time I've done beats here. Suppose I can go around the other way. Alright, I'm on my way back, Trillian. Well over to the side, and it's still picking up four rows. Okay, no, it's not. It just a. Uh, I'll just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> just do three rows. I can't do three. I'd have to. Do, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You'll oh. see what three. Look! Look! I mean, he's bound it down. Really far. Oh, damn, Eighteen west. wheels are rolling. Oh, I was going west. Never mind. Are we going to do what they west. say can be done? We'll do what they say shouldn't be done. <laughs> we've we've got a short way to go because it's only a small farm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've got a short way to go and a long time to get there. <laughs> yeah, because we got slow tractors. <laughs> oh my gosh! And tractors that don't get everything. Yeah. So, a any any favorite songs anyone has, put them in the comments, and we will happily kind of annihilate them in another episode for you. <laughs> hmm. How about never gonna give you up? Go for it. Always gonna give you up because your name is Hitman eighty two. He'd make a <laughs> he'd make a good president. He's never gonna give you up. He's never gonna let you down. Never gonna uh, run around and hurt you. Yeah, I mean, wow, he, Rick Astley for president. <laughs> better than a, a good number of the candidates that exist at the moment. <laughs> oh dear. And now we'll watch the hate roll in. New. On a great big truck. Speaking of which, if any of you guys played the new um, American Truck Simulator? Nope. Yes. What do you think of it? Um, alright. For what it is, it's going to take a little while to get anywhere, I think, because of all the downloads they're going to have to do for the states and stuff like that. Okay for what it is, it's a bit like BTS, but... And now, do you find, are the maps bigger, or are the roads bigger? Like, is it more of an American style? Because I, I always find when we're, I'm playing uh, Euro Truck that the roads are really narrow, seem really narrow to me, because I'm used to, uh, here in North America, our roads are a bit wider, because, I don't know, I suppose I suppose anyone who's not from here would say it's because we're such awful drivers, but that's neither here nor there. No mandatory sight test? <laughs> um, there are large roads, there's a few small narrow roads you can go down as well, which the route will take you off onto, which you don't realise until you're on them. 
which are quite tight and twisty. So if you do a multiplayer version of it, then uh, it can get a bit troublesome. But <laughs> is there a mul is multiplayer built in on this one? No, it's another mod version. Another mod. I guess that's how they get the game so stable, is just don't add multiplayer. Yeah. Tell that to Space Engineers. I mean, that game that we shall, shall not name. <laughs> so, Rick, I heard you like bears. Hmm? I said I heard you like bears. Zombie bears, especially. Mm. <laughs> Poor Rick. A bear dropped on them last night. Multiplayer has been a challenge lately. Actually, I think mm, well, my tip back tip not or front tip is not full. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're talking seven days to die. There's so, uh, a new update, update 14. Wait, we've got to wait seven days for that. <laughs> Can't you just do it you now, Hitman? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Fat, buy the game, and I guarantee you, by day three, you're already dead. You won't get seven days. Okay, that's fine. I was I was more meaning to wait for for your imminent kind of demise, but mm, I don't know. I just uh, the game it changes so fast, like to the point where you have uh, like it is alpha. You have to keep starting over again because they keep cha making such sweeping changes that trying to record a series on it when you don't know if tomorrow you'll even be able to. Play that save. I mean, it's a lot of trillion of suspension tippers. Yeah. There. I can imagine that would be quite frustrating. Very. Yeah. Oh, Trillion and uh, a Kick and I, we had a series. Uh, three Amigos. That was pretty fun, but I think um, updates killed us there. I'm oh, missing some Trillion. Oh, Told you I'm not to proud. get greedy. Mm <laughs> hmm. Greedy. Greedy. Mm. I should have said, uh, I didn't notice, but I'll, I'll watch closer now, and then if I see the next row get, start getting harvested, then I'll know that you're gonna have that problem. How's the barley harvest going? Did you finish? Looks like. Yep. So, next up is collecting the straw and seeding corn over on 5 and 6, which. Oh, I don't know if we showed that last episode. We, we, well, we, I went, get rid of that one meter plow, because screw you, little one meter plow. Um, and, and got the uh, lizard 2.8 meter plow, and went and plowed five and six together. That was a, six was a grass field. It is now a, a, um, crop type field thing. And, uh, enlarged field five, so it is now mega field. Look at the size of that field. Mega field. Right. Yeah, that. It is a big, big, big field. So we're going to put corn on there because we need to get our corn uh, supply up. I'm going to go run up post there, Trillion all. Come here in a second. So, uh, so yeah, we've got a nice big field there. It's excellent. Took a couple hours to do, I think. No care it was here, I can't remember how long it took me. He wanted to then plow more together. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, that's good for now. So we wanted to kind of, we didn't want to go around changing the whole landscape, so to speak, in between episodes. That was too much to change at once, I think. So but we'll wait on that. Let's look at the plow 5 and 11 to get. No, 4 and 11, or 4 and 10 together. We'll have another look at that. Probably do so. As our equipment's getting bigger, um, our fields. Oops, Charlene, did you want to stop and get that one? Oh. What one? Uh, see the the row has moved over. Yeah, so I'm only doing three. Okay, one more then. One more. Um. So yeah, as our equipment is getting bigger, so we're. I don't mind. Fields, so. Okay. You'll be doing two rows next. Two row Trillion. Two row Trillion.
Oh, I'll go dump this. I'll be right back. Away I go. I got stuck over there. Uh, the the power and phone lines go down into the ground. Just the wires go straight in the ground. I didn't see it. So I'm like, oh, I'm stuck on something. And I look, and it's like, oh, I'm stuck on power lines. Actually, I think it must be phone lines because these are power lines here. There goes an executive shooter. Beep beep. It has the big manly horn too. Oh. Oops. You'll have to kind of come back this way in a minute. I'll have to hear it. Okay then. That I can do. Them, them's the rules. Right, right. Beeping at people. Which field are you on now? I'm just collecting the cedar. Okay. At least I assume I'm collecting the right one. Scoop. There we go. And we are oh, set. Cornichings. Going through. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need the beep brick, that's okay. <laughs> Come on, track, go, go, tractor, go, we gotta get away from him in case he beeps. I shouldn't have said that, now <laughs> Battle will be like, can I have tractor? <sighs> sure you can. Oh, no, we can't. We can't that one. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think that's worse. Anytime. So let's just check. Yes, this is Funf and Zets. Right. So if you can do the doings. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I've got the right icon for, for corn seeding, so... We're about to find out. It says corn up in the ground. Ah, uh, oh, excellent, it does. So you don't just have to rely on the icons anymore. Well done, thanks Mike. So glad you're here. You just can't. You, you keep us honest on that front. <laughs> Fad, you're seeding the wrong stuff. Ooh. Well, that was on Balmoral. <laughs> it was. Over the beats. Up and down the field we go. The field we go. The field we go. Up and down the field we go. Cause we don't listen to a Hitman. Oh wait, we do. That's why we go up and down the fields. Dang it! Mm-hmm. <laughs> but we do it with blinky lights. And if we had an Awooga horn, we'd have it have an Awooga horn as well. That is some contraption. Speaking of which, oh my gosh. Uh, are you aware of an auto manufacturer from the 40s called um, Tucker? It was uh, Preston yep. Tucker. Well, I saw today a a Tucker torpedo. Wow, <laughs> that's a cool looking. It's a, um, only like 40 or something of them were built. I think they called them the Model 48 because that was the year it was, 1948. But, um,. The nickname was the um, torpedo, and the front of it it had three headlights, and mm -hmm. the uh, do you know the one I'm talking about, Rick? Oh yeah, I'm a yeah. car bus. Well, oh, so neat. the The front wheels had fenders on them with headlights, and when you turn, those fenders go. You know, they they're above the wheels, so they turn with it. So when you turn, your headlights follow where you're going. So when you're going around a, a corner or something, your light would kind of be leading the way. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then it had a, um, a center light that was um, the high beam. And they had to make a cover for it because at that point it was there were 17 states in the US that would not allow you to have more than two headlights. So they had a custom cover that you would put on the light. That was kind of neat. But uh, the car, and it had, a, it had a tail fin, but the tail fin was up the center in the back. It was just a really 
different looking car, very unique. I really like it. Nice. So there you go. Fire up your favorite search engine and have a look for a Tucker Torpedo. <laughs> and when you're done, look for a Quantum Torpedo. <laughs> well, he actually, you know, pioneered <laughs> some of the safety features in cars yeah. that we have today. Yeah, the big three put them out of business. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess there's there was an, uh, a movie back in about '88 or something, I think, called yeah. Tucker, A Man in His Dream. That was I saw it way back when. But, yeah. um, I think maybe it was it wasn't just the big three putting them out of business. I think there was a bit of corporate ineptitude there, kind of naivety or something. Well, a lot of dreamers. People that had good ideas were not necessarily always good business people. Exactly. And sometimes they put trust in folks they really shouldn't have. Yep. So the moral of the story is never trust a business person. <laughs> oh, um, I've been looking at, uh, like, I have a Honda CRV and I've had it for, well, I bought it new in 2000. And there's, I've got about maybe 61,000 miles on it, so that's like 100 and a little over 100,000 kilometers, and it's 16 years old. So it, it's getting to that age where things are creaking, and it, and I've never had any mechanical problems with the vehicle. Um, so sooner or later, something's going to happen to it. And I'm just wondering. Uh, I've been I've been looking at. Um, uh, actually, a bunch more Hondas to purchase and some other stuff. So where was I going with that? I had a point there. I think I mentioned on an episode uh, maybe a week or so ago about um, the cameras on on the the newer vehicles. Like when you're the rear-facing camera when you're backing up, mm -hmm. and one's under your mirrors so that you're, there's a screen on your dash so you can see even better than if you're looking in a side mirror. Um. So yeah, I've been looking at that stuff. So, uh, watching some videos about like, uh, like cars salespeople and the kind of the tricks they they have to to try and make the sale, such as, oh, we'll go out for a test drive or I'll take you out in it, and then they go out somewhere and then they stop and they want to show you the car and all that, and they're all buddy buddy with you, but meanwhile. You can't walk out. You can't say, "Well, I'm not happy with this, or I don't like this, or whatever," and walk out because they've got you. You're not even near anywhere near your own car, or your or the lot, or anything. So they've kind of got you there. And just just these little subtle moves they do. That wow. That's quite the intimidation tactic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, it's actually if if you want to learn, if if you go say you're going to buy a vehicle, go and look at YouTube. Look up how to sell vehicles like um, you're looking for videos that dealers show other dealers to teach them to sell cars better especially used cars so then when you go to buy that vehicle you know the tricks they're trying to pull and get past that and you'll know if you're dealing with someone who's honest selling you a car versus someone who is yeah I made a million in three years but I screwed every one of my customers there's a difference, and and like you know, like all salespeople, <laughs> like all salespeople, you'll have you'll have good ones that are honest, and you'll have bad ones that, well, there's a special place down below for them if you believe that sort of thing. So, yeah, educate yourself. Oh my gosh, and there's my public service announcement for the day. Absolutely, oh, conveniently put across the um, synchronizing with other players screen. Well yeah, done. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we normally pause, but we didn't yeah, this time. We didn't because you were talking, so. <laughs> no, I think it synchronizes quite quickly. Oh, on I'm full. Farm. Okay. Yeah, the the load time on this farm is really nice and quick. But yeah, no, you you so saying about that car time. actually? I mean, my parents are about to get rid of one of my, well, my first brand new to me car, which we bought eight about eighteen years ago. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And it's only just gotten to the stage, and it, there's nothing wrong with it. It still runs, but it just can't pass its um, MOT, so it, it's not legal to go on the road. <laughs> so, 
other than that, it's all fine. So, she's going to go away for parts or a project. Mm. Sad days, but nevertheless, that car has bailed all of us out of the poo at some point of the time. So, I, I call that a fairly solid investment. Yeah. Uh, there's no question, if, if you can afford it, go with a good quality vehicle, brand new. Um, then you know, if it's abused, it's you doing the abuse, and then you know about it. Mm-hmm. Because you never know what was done to these vehicles. Yeah, well, I had a... My previous car before the one I've got now was an ex-demonstrator, and I had, after, like, year three... I had some real troubles with it. Um, but then I was wondering, mm, is it because it's an ex-demonstrator? So this one I had absolute brand new. There were eight miles on the clock when I got it. <laughs> so we are just a bit out of time for today. Wow, look at Yay, I mean, oh. <laughs> the mini map, there's lots and lots of busy, busy people. And Glance says, holy crap, look at all the working people. Alright, so we've had a pretty productive day here. So, thank yeah. you everyone, and hello Junkyard, if you're watching this, hello. Yeah. You came here kind of at the end, so we'll see you soon. See the rest of you soon. I was born <laughs> in the <yet> wandering Junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so see if anyone else has any... Oh, sorry Rick. Alright. Thanks for watching. See us. Take care, folks. Oh, where's Mike? Oh, you and myself. That's alright, bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye for now.